Yeah. All right. Uh, good morning. Uh, it's an honor to see all of you today. Uh, my name is Jayam Ju. I'm a recently graduated uh, student from Hill and Foreign Language High School, and I will be your host for today. So uh, we at the Global Youth Institute are proud to present the fifth East Asia Youth Leadership Forum. And our topic for today will be new frontiers for education in the 21st century. Uh, before we begin, I'd like to mention that one of our speakers, um, Mr. Matthew Wigan, uh, is not able to uh, attend today. And the reason is that he actually works as a journalist at Yonhap News. And apparently there's been a recent incident in which uh, North Korea made certain threats to uh, uh, the South Koreans saying that if they don't rescind certain statements they've made, uh, they're gonna bomb the Blue House and blah, blah, blah. So, you know, uh, if, anyone, if any one of you are upset that, you know, you guys didn't get to hear this cool, like, speech he had, you know, blame little Kim up north, right? <laughs> All right, so, uh, oh, and I'd also like to mention our sponsor for today. Uh, we have the World Culture Open Korea Center, it's, uh, which is known for uh, lending us space in whenever we need to uh, participate in cultural or artistic activities. And also the Asia Institute, the Asia Institute Internships, and finally the Aryan Institute. Uh, the main purpose of our uh, uh, presentation today will be number one how has education evolved number two comparing education of this century with education of the last century uh, number three globalization and cosmopolitanism in contemporary education number four a massive open online course and their impacts on education and finally critical issues in contemporary education so without further ado uh, I'd like to move to the first speaker, um, Professor Pastor. 